Darwin, whose 200th birthday was in February. Darwin went on a great voyage during his lifetime. Who can tell me what it was? Oh, I know. He was that special guest that came to visit SpongeBob. No, no. He became a finalist on American Idol last year, right, Hermione? Ron, you rockfish are pretty dense. Darwin went on a voyage around the world on a ship called the HMS Beagle. His job was to collect plants and animals and describe them. When he was in the Galapagos Islands, he noticed that closely related birds had different shaped feet. They were each adapted to eating different kinds of food. Very good. This discovery helped Darwin piece together how different species evolved from one another through natural selection. Natural selection? That's survival of the fittest, right? Yes. Only the individuals that are well adapted to their environment, or best fit, will survive to produce future generations. Well, that's kind of like making it through American Idol without getting voted off. <laughs> so in honor of Darwin, who helped us understand the relationships between species through evolution, I want you all to do a family history project. You need to research a relative that you share a recent common ancestor with. But there's one catch. In, in order to expand your horizon, the relative has to live in a habitat that's not found here in Monterey Bay. <gasps> Class dismissed. <laughs> so, Ron, do you want to go to the library right now to start researching for this project? No, wait, Hermione. I just had a brilliant idea. My cousin, Harry Spotter, the scorpion fish, <laughs> is visiting from Southern California. Maybe I'll just write about him. Oh. Hey, cousin, what's up? Perfect timing, Harry. I want to interview you for my family history project. I have to write about a relative from a habitat not found in Monterey Bay. Whoa, sorry to burst your bubble, Ron, but no can do. I live in a kelp forest just like this one down south. And even though the water is a little cold for me here in Monterey, sometimes I do make it this far north, like now. Ha! Oh. Huh. Looks like you better join me at the library then, Ron. Are you kidding? I say this calls for an adventure. We should go find our relatives. Just think, Hermione, what would Darwin do? He'd ride an eagle! <laughs> You rockfish must have spines for brains. His ship was called the Beagle. Oh. Well, anyway, Darwin went on the Beagle and explored all those places far away from home. So let's go someplace exotic and unknown, like like a giant submarine canyon. Um, hello, Ron. Have you actually looked at Google Ocean? <laughs> There's a canyon that goes right through our bay, if you haven't noticed. Uh, okay, fine. How about Sandy Bottom Surf Zone? Um, got it. Rocky Inner Tidal. Check. Open water. Check it, check. This is impossible. There are just too many different habitats in Monterey Bay. How are we ever going to meet relatives from somewhere different? Hey, hey, don't get discouraged. To solve this mystery, first, you need to start thinking like a scientist. You can start by calling me by my scientific name, Scorpina Gutata. Scorpina what? <laughs> Scorpina Gutata. What a scientific name. Scorpina Gutata. No other species has the same. Find another. Relatives are in. Well, it's a name scientists use to tell me apart from other species. Scorpina is a Latin word that means scorpion because... His spine gives you scorpion thoughts. And Gutata is Latin for sport. Latin, quite Latin. Whatever language you speak, near or far, the Latin name is the same. Wherever you are, he's a stinging spine fish with spots on his skin.
Think about how we're related, cousin. It's our stinging spines. There's an adaptation that helps us survive. So we need to find another fish that inherited these spines from our common ancestor. Uh, you guys think those silly spines make you look so cool. Well, I think they're just a waste of space. Looks like a bad hair day to me. Hey, watch out for that bird. Bird? Harry, don't be ridiculous. Birds don't live underwater. <laughs> what? What? Sorry, it's hard to hold your breath and talk underwater. I said, birds may not live underwater, but birds like me, mers like me can dive as deep as 200 feet. So don't be surprised if you bump into us down here once in a while. Well, uh, are you going to eat us now? Are you kidding? Do you think I want to choke out all those spines? I'm going to go for those nice slippery sardines. <laughs> Lunch time. <laughs> Okay, okay, I guess spines have their uses, but I still think they look silly. Well, you can laugh, but these spines are going to keep me safe when we sneak into the aquarium. When we what? Yeah, I just realized it's the perfect idea to help you on your project. I passed by the seawater pipes of the aquarium on my way up here. I think if we sneak in, we could find some exotic habitats. Maybe some tropical fish and crabs, too. With my super spotty camouflage pattern, I'm going to blend right in with the rocks and kelp. No one will ever see me. Yeah, my mottled colors will help keep me hidden, too. But what about you, Hermione? Oh, uh, just give me one second. Let's 